be I've been going nowhere lately It's time to start all over and go for it Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet But that's something I don't regret Every night I close my eyes and see Only laughing to dreams, baby What can I do when I'm in? After weeks of apartment hunting, second New York City apartment has been secured. It is a one bedroom, one bath in Manhattan and the monthly rent is $26.50. I've already moved in and currently I'm living in a pile of boxes, but I wanted to start this new chapter with an empty apartment tour first. If you guys are new here, my name is Tisha. I am 34 years old, originally from Kathmandu, Nepal, and currently I live alone in New York City with my dog Chape. So as soon as you enter, there's a small foyer. On the right, there is a walk-in closet. I had already set up my account for electricity, but I guess I just need to call Con Ed about this now, since the lights are not working. Now let's start with the living room. The windows are south facing, and plus this is a fifth floor walk up, so it does get a lot of natural light. I'm thinking to make this section as my work area, and then couch here, dresser and TV here. What is this? I have no idea what is this. I'm just gonna leave it here. And there's a small balcony as well. You can't really go there though. I'll probably put some plants during summertime. And it has mesh screens as well. Typically, New York City apartment do not have mesh screens in the window. And AC from the previous tenant is here. Oh, that's nice. This is mainly for the birds, for pigeons. You know these windows? It's very similar to the one that I had in my vision board. Hold on, this is what I'm talking about. So I have these windows on my vision board and also one of the apartments I really liked, apartment number 10, that did not work out at the end. It had similar windows. Things work out in the weirdest ways sometimes. I do have a separate corner for kitchen as well. It is a bit outdated, but I love the wooden cabinets, all the details. I'm not really sure when this fridge model was manufactured. It looks like it was manufactured way back then. Oh, it has a ladybug, that's cute. But I do think it goes well with the wood cabinets, drawers, just with the style of the kitchen. The kitchen has a lot of cabinets, a lot. What is that? I guess the current tenant left this behind. Oh, it's still good, that's why. Oh. Oh, these ones are a bit narrow. So this would be for like spices or for glasses. And then I can put plates where the space is a bit bigger. Oh, it has a vent as well. A lot of New York City apartments do not have vents in the kitchen. I did not notice all these details when I was viewing the apartment. Oh, someone's dog. Oh, I don't need to install this. This is good for paper towel. This looks clean. And then a lot of drawers. My current apartment does not have any kitchen space at all. Oh, wow. There are a lot of things that the previous tenant left behind, like trash bags, Swiffer, which is all very useful. Wood, polish, and conditioner. And then some kind of bulb. And then more bulbs here. And then floor wipes. This is nice for all pots and pans. I'm gonna have more drawers here. Oh wow, more bulbs. This is very deep. So when I viewed the apartment, the dishwasher was leaking. So they did mention that they'll fix the dishwasher, but this area, I'm definitely not using it. Because the leakage has damaged the base of the cabinet, but the holes are all cocked up. And that's the main thing that I'm always concerned about. I don't really need a dishwasher to be honest, because I live by myself. I would have loved this to be replaced with washer dryer. That would have been the best thing. It comes with a microwave, but I'm gonna put this somewhere as storage since I do want to use my current microwave. I didn't realize there are lights on the top as well. Also, there are a few things on the kitchen counter. Nail hole filler. Oh, it's paint. Oh, look at the sunlight. <sighs> so pretty. Previous tenant also uh, left these four plants, which I think I might keep it, but I do have a bunch of my own plants. Not really sure. We shall see. And now moving on 
to the bathroom. Oh, I didn't realize about the shower head. That's nice. It's a very pretty shower curtain as well. Oh, this is just a mirror. This one I can open? Oh, yeah, I can open it. Oh, I like these too. I was supposed to install these in my current apartment as well, but I did not end up doing that since I knew I was moving out. Mm -hmm. And some hooks here too. And it has this skylight. I can open this? Is that the reason why there is a thread there? Seems that way. You know, I did not realize when I was seeing this apartment that it has this black grout. I'm not sure what these are. Oh, it is for the lights. Not sure if it works or not. Doesn't press in though, so not sure. We'll find out. There's a huge walk-in closet. And the tenant did leave behind a couple of things. The shoe rack, which initially I was thinking I'll keep it, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. What is this? I think this is like a picnic mat. She has a shoes here too. And then I don't know what exactly this is. This looks like a card shredder or a paper shredder. These are closet doors for the closet in the bedroom. It already has a mirror too. And then now let's go over to the bedroom. So the bedroom windows also faces south. It has the mesh screen here as well. And then the same, I don't know what it's called. I guess the window cover, window door. And now moving on to the closet. doors for the closet are in the walk-in i'll have to check with the management if i can toss these out because i don't really need the vacuum for the ac i think the broker had mentioned that like this is the owner's ac so i will leave that behind i don't know what that is i'm not really sure what this is that's nice huh. i could maybe use it it has more storage on the top there's a place to put the bulb so there are a lot of gaps especially in the bedroom i'm not really sure if i'm going to cock up the floors because so when i spoke with the current tenant if she has any issues with the apartment she mentioned that i need to turn the shower up until a certain point for the water to be a certain temperature if i don't then it gets extremely hot that's the thing that she pointed out nothing else she mentioned that there are no issues at all with pests Compared to how my current apartment was given to me, this is way better. It does look like either the tenant or the management cleaned the apartment before handing over the keys. So, all good signs. Even though it's old and a bit dated, I love how it has the wooden panels, wooden cabinets. I didn't want an apartment that it's a walk-up. I hope I don't regret this. I hope my knees don't hate me mid of my lease. And with this, I will end the empty apartment tour. I'm very excited about this new chapter and I can't wait to make this space my own i really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel if you have an instagram my instagram is tisha shrashta and i'll see you guys in my next one bye